Hello and welcome back. And I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a little while. I've been, to say the least, busy. We've had TUV in at work for homologation and all sorts of fun. We've had issues that we've never seen before and not likely to see again, but hey, that's the way life goes. Um, I've had some videos recorded. Uh, there's quite a bit of editing in them though and I just haven't had time. So I'm gonna try and do this in one take and hopefully I can put it up quite quickly. So tonight, what I want to talk about is it's mid-December. What I've got going on for next year, what I've got confirmed, what is confirmed work, but I need to ask the owner for YouTube permission. I think it's just being polite. Um, and what fun joys I'm gonna have throughout this up and coming 2017. Now, I'm looking at the show notes. I've got a, to start with, first thing, I'll be picking it up at the end of this month along with a couple of other bits, a Clio 182 engine build. Um, it's for a friend of mine. I've actually yet to ask him about putting it on YouTube, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, it's a 182 Clio Cup car um, and the engine's getting tired so it's just a, a refresh and take it back up to him. Uh, I've got one, possibly two, maybe even three Saxo engine builds that are going to be coming onto YouTube this way. Um, one or two will be mine and another one will be for Greece. So they will be coming. Um, from the lad with the Cleo, um, he's bought a toolbox stack. Now it's an old snap on one, non roller bearing, but it's good for what he wants it. Now we got the whole lot at quite a deal and I said I'll buy the top box off of him. 40 inch wide top box. Now I've got my snap on road chest that quite a few of you may have seen already. Um, and since then I've picked up a blue point tool trolley thing. Um, and what I want is this toolbox, when I go and pick it up, I'll show you, it's not pretty. Um, the bloke who's owned it before has decided that Snap-on's lock wasn't good enough, so he's taken the lock out and he's welded an eye to the front. Really? Snap-on toolbox and you weld an eyelet to the front and don't even paint it? Yeah, that's what you can see. There's no real dents, there's no real damage, it's just... Really? At least look after your stuff. So, there will be that. That will be... Um, that will be going the same colour as my race car, which for many of you that have wondered, um, yes, it is Snap-on Extreme Green. Uh, I bought my toolbox. I've got a big classic 96 uh, Snap-on toolbox. And when it turned up, I was amazed. I, I, I saw it on the, the rock and roll cab van and went, I'm having that one. So I did. And when it turned up in the workshop, um, yeah, I love it, it's great. So I pulled a drawer out of it, went round to the paint shop, gave them a drawer of a brand spanking new, however long it took me to get the drawer out, minute old toolbox, and said, match that paint colour, can I have five litres, because I'm going to paint my race car that colour. So that is my race car colour. Um, yes, we've got toolbox restoration, so I'll be doing that. I'll be cutting the, the lock off the front and we'll be going from there. Also, a bit of fabrication, or in my instance, fabricable. That's far more accurate. Um, I'm going to build a, a stand so I can put the, the 40 inch top box in the bottom of it, my road chest in the top of it. And from memory, I think my road chest is 26 inch wide. 
So I'm going to have a 14 inch end plate and I've got some things going around in my head but I'll start drawing stuff up. Um, so yeah, we're going to have the, the roll stand for them. We're going to be having some Honda race car stuff. Obviously we're going to continue with the Saxo race car stuff. Um, more for the Greek market. Um, I do quite a bit for lads over in Greece. We're going to have some Cosworth road and dyno mapping. Um, to be honest, I think what we're going to do is get it started, get it running, get it driving around their yard, um, get it 95% of the way there, take it to the dyno, run it up to what it can do 100%, um, and then basically take it back out on the road, um, do gear torque reduction and anti-lag and stuff like that out on the road which out there is perfectly legal and it's really complicated so I'm not going into that. Um, obviously we're going to have race weekends coming up and I've got some dates. Um, we're going to be having race weekends for the Saxo and the Honda. Um, we're going to be having some race weekends in Greece and I'm supporting the Clio as well that I'm building that engine for so it's going to be a good laugh. Uh, I've got a front bumper build from the Polo series. Um, I'll go into it when I I do the bumper build, but I've been having some issues with yard and trailers and moving and yeah, I think I might have given that one away. But um, we're going to be going obviously over to Greece, so you're going to be coming with me. And if you're in Greece, we're coming for you. Um, that's a laugh, you know, we get loads of stuff done. Um, and the last thing that is definitely confirmed is engine and gearbox stands. Now I've had this issue for a little while. Um, you have an engine with a gearbox bolted to it and it doesn't sit on the floor. Um, you can't move it easily and people say, oh, I'll take the gearbox off of it. Yeah, great, thanks. I've still got maybe 100 kilos, 80 kilos of engine that I've still got to try and drag around on its sump. I don't like this. So I'm going to build like a frame. Again, I've got some ideas, but when we get the engine and box on the crane and start measuring and, and stuff like that, and I want to build it so that you can have an engine there on its own or a gearbox on its own or you can have the two together and yeah I've got some ideas but nothing confirmed for that. Unconfirmed but possible. Um, we may very well be having a YB Cosworth build coming. Um, it's uh, the lads that who own it are quite handy but They've said, look, can we have you on standby just in case we sort of get in over our heads? And to be honest, they're pretty genuine. They will stand there and say, oh, I don't know. So we could be having one of them. We could be having a YB build. If we do, great. If we don't, I'll be involved with it and I'll try and video with it as much as possible. Um, we may, be very, may very well be having a transit engine swap and rebuild. Um, that one's down to my father. It's one of his ideas. Um, I'm the one that's going to be doing it. And it's a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, it was something he said the other day. And I'm sort of waiting to hear back from him as to what he's thinking. Um, we might be having a trailer build. Again, that's not going to be much. That'll be a trying to fabric cobble a tyre rack or something. But again, something just different it's things that you have to do to go racing um, that's not confirmed mainly because we're thinking of changing trailers and I don't want to build a tyre rack to go on an old trailer and then have to build another one because they're not going to fit um, van build uh, the van build will be done uh, when I find a van. I'm really struggling. Uh, 
thing of where I work, and I don't want to give too much away, um, I kind of feel obliged that I have to drive a Ford. Um, plus, I think the transits are brilliant. Uh, I want a newer one, um, maybe something up to six years old, but it's got to be the higher powered 140 or 155 PS and it's got to be a high roof and it's either got to be L3 or L4 so medium wheelbase or long wheelbase I'm really picky about this the van that you might have seen before is functional it will tow a car and trailer you can't stand up in it you can't really sleep in it um, and with 2017's race series going to be I say a lot further from home I want to carry more stuff and I want the stuff to be secure now the last thing I want is to have to start taking things out the van to sleep in it come on you've got to be with me there um, when one of these vans pops up I will go for it if I get it there will be a van build coming but that's why that's on the unconfirmed list the other thing that's on the unconfirmed list which is slightly annoying but uh, is a turbo saxo build um, a 1600 8 valve TU like that's in the, the VTRs and some of the 106s and it's not quite the same as the rallies so they're basically the same but there's a couple of little differences between the rallies and the VTRs this will be a VTR build as and when and if I do that I will be going through complete compressor maps flow not constraints cam profiles fueling uh, burn patterns everything literally I'll be going through everything um, that again will be another a grease project that's um, that's going to be a hill climb car the reason it's on the unconfirmed list is there's a car I've spotted out there when I was out there last and I want it and the bloke said he's willing to sell it uh, he wants silly money for it at the minute I can't justify it bringing myself to buy this thing and pretty much throwing half of it away so he said he's going to try and sell the other bits and break it up because he'll get more money for it like that and if he does sell the other bits I've got the first refusal on the car as such so when he gets rid of the engine the box and all of the, all that stuff which is no problem for me because hey I'm going to put my own one in um, obviously the price of the car will come down and now it's going to be acceptable it's going to be an acceptable price range for for what will be a car that I don't use regularly and it will be left hand drive and it will be in Greece and I might use it once or twice a year but hey we're going to go through that engine build really carefully and the maths and the science behind it all we're going to go in we're going to pick the correct turbo and the cam profile and we're going to go from there and I was sat down doing the maths today so that's where this video has come from right dates race weekends um, I would show this to the camera but my legible scribbling might be difficult to be made out I'll show you it anyway I'll throw it on the floor first They are the race weekend dates. Unfortunately, one of my races and my good buddy with the Honda, we race in the same series and mine's a 1600 and his is obviously a two litre type R EP3. Um, I'm doing that because it's over there. Um, we should be in different classes, but
but because of the modifications that are on mine, they've said, yes, I can come and race. Um, my car is outside their regulations, but I will take a penalty for it. Now, they couldn't decide on a, a happy weight penalty and still be safe. Uh, they didn't want to start basically adding 250, 300 kilos in my car because where can you bolt 300 kilos down safely? You can't really. Um, so they've moved me up upper class. I'm racing two litres. Um, it has its advantages against them and it has also disadvantages, but you may very well have seen that in the the Vitz Meldrew race um, in qualifying. I was behind Martin and uh, again through the corners, I had loads of pace. Get on the straight and I struggled. So yeah, let's see where we can go, but we're in the same class. Um, the first race of ours and the second race of the Clio clash they are on the same weekend um obviously i wouldn't do the first race of mine because it's a cadwell park and i love cadwell park and it's brilliant and it goes up and down and it sounds really stupid it goes and the ends meet so it's a circle but yeah i love cadwell it's great um so i think i will be t attending my first race meeting and lad with a cleo Fortunately, might struggle a little bit at Snetterton. Um, he's not going to struggle without me, but um, he will have one of his other, what's the word? Helper? Elf? Um, apprentice? You'll see. You'll see. The we'll go to the first race at Alton Park uh, and you'll see. I'll introduce you to them all and yeah, say no more. Uh, apart from that, for the Saxo, we've got April 22nd, 23rd at Cadwell, May 20th and 21st at Brands GP. That's a good one. Um, June 3rd and 4th, Silverstone National. July 1st and 2nd, Silverstone GP. I wouldn't do that one. Um, August 19th and 20th, Brands Hatch Indy, that's the German festival. So I'll be rocking up, sporting the fridge. That's going to be fun. Um, September 23rd and 24th, Donington GP. October 14th and 15th, Snetterton 300. Um, that was for the uh, me and the Honda. The Honda, I think, may very well have two races on its own. Um, which will be the March 25th, 26th at Brands Indy and November 4th and 5th at Brands Indy. Um, for the Clio, April the 1st is Alton Park, April the 22nd, 23rd is Snetterton, May the 28th is Croft, we're going for Croft. June 17th and 18th is Brands Hatch, July 29th and 30th is Cadwell Park, August 26th is Thruxton, September 30th and the first of the month after October is Donington. Um, didn't say if it was Indy or GP, but Donington. This is going to be a lot of fun. That's seven for me, seven from the Clio. Two, that's 14, 16, 15 race events. So 15 weekends out of a possible 52. Ah, haven't put the grease ones in there. Yeah, there will be possibly another two. So it'll be 17 weekends out of 52 where we won't be here, um, we will be off around England, or we'll be in Greece. Uh, there may very well be a, another trip to another country, but 
I don't want to say anything because there's a fair chance it might not happen, but it's hopeful. So yeah, that is so far as what I can see with half a month left of 2016, the year everyone wishes to forget that, to be honest, I haven't had such a bad one. Um, on to 2017. 2017 so far is shaping up to be a good one. So stick with it. We'll be going through a lot of things. Hopefully I'll be bringing some new knowledge to people. Um, hopefully my videos are getting better. Uh, I've had a few comments of things that are, I should put in to next ones or do for next ones and believe me I'm trying. Um, when you look at other videos, you you um, you go, that's easy, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not as easy as it looks. Um, hence why I'm still learning. Um, but thank you for your kind words and tips and advice and way forwards. Um, it has been noted, if it doesn't, look like I'm doing it, it's not because I've ignored you, it's generally because I'm a bit rubbish at it and I'm I'm trying. Um, the head cam thing, yeah I know that, I'm horrendous with setting the head cam up, I'll set it up on my phone and look at it and go yeah that's brilliant and then when you look at the video afterwards you go oh god that's, I'm working down here and the camera's pointing and I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, I'm going to go home now, I'm going to hopefully put this one up um, and get some more going. There's loads of things happened, there's loads of things gone on that I've caught on video um, and I'm going to bring it all to you. So thank you very much for watching, if you like the video please leave a like, if you like the content to come please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Ciao.